Okay, in this video, I will discuss about a situation which can happen for fathers who want to meet their children. And usually such uh, meetings are allowed, uh, you know, in the mediation center of a particular family court or district court. Uh, one thing we have to understand is uh, that the mediation centers are some kind of independent bodies and uh, the director or you know the in charge person of the mediation center uh, he or she will be a kind of independent authority from your family court judge so one should keep that in mind and now i will discuss the problem and uh, this is this person has said that uh, the court staff asked him not to take pictures and videos with his own child during the time of interim custody so this is something which uh, we have seen in other places also um, and uh, sometimes it may not be about taking picture and video it could be something else um, and uh, you know but something very similar so sometimes they will say that uh, only particular person will be allowed inside um, and no other relatives um, for example, if there are like multiple people who want to see the child, uh, you know, it can lead to some kind of a, uh, I have myself uh, seen such situations where uh, maybe the reason was genuine. There was some crowding in the you know room, uh, but still these things should be handled with some sensitivity and, you know, uh, because uh, people, you know, people are trying to meet their children and mostly it's the fathers who get these uh, uh, interim uh, custodies in these uh, mediation centers and you know the complexes inside the near the court uh, complexes so basically um, my thinking is very simple in this uh, whole scenarios that usually uh, there is absolutely no such written order you know now this person says that uh, it is against their rule so my advice would be in this situation that uh, you can write a letter or even file an rti to the director or whoever is the in charge of the mediation center um, or the basically the public information officer in case of an RTI. So send an RTI to the PIO and ask them about, uh, you know, give a copy of your rules regarding uh, or procedures regarding, um, you know, what is allowed or what is not allowed during the interim custody or visitation is the usually commonly used word but i want to avoid and in fact i suggest people do not use the word visitation because if you start using it yourself then that's what you know you will be treated as some kind of a visitor so during these um, interim custody and child access uh, you know meetings with the child um you can ask for this uh, copy of the rule and uh, in case the mediation center does not reply uh, one possibility is you can send this rti to the registrar of the high court uh, because the high court in any state is the governing body for you know all the judicial decisions and administration for all the courts inside that state so um, if indeed there is such a rule or procedure then it has to be there somewhere you know it cannot be that uh, there is no written rule and it is being uh, uh, and there is no copy of it so uh, my guess is there is absolutely no such written document but to be on the safe side you know let us uh, as responsible citizens let's assume for a moment that there could be such a rule so why not uh, get a copy of it and once we have the document then we can think of you know what to do next because uh, indeed, if such a rule has been made, then uh, we can, you know, send a formal representation. Uh, whoever is affected by such a rule, they can send a formal grievance or letter, you know, to the authorities and ask for it to be modified or suitably amended, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, so that was, uh, you know, my take on this. And uh, you know, this person has requested uh, the law minister for uh, to change the rule, but my sense is that uh, these are not made by the executive branch of the government uh, it, these are made by the judicial uh, you know part of the state and um, 
so if at all a rule has been made it will be either by the person you know the in charge authorities of the mediation center or by uh, authorities in the high court and uh, one more thing if you do send a letter or rti to the high court registrar uh, make sure that you send it to the registrar who is in charge of the administration aspects of the courts so basically a high court will have a judicial registrar uh, he or she is not the person you have to send this rti to because they will not be involved in such admin related decisions so it should be sent to administrative registrar and uh, that particular name of pio etc you can find on the high court website it won't be very difficult because um, the high courts have uh, you know rti and pios available on the website uh, information is given so um so i thought uh, this was an important point because people should not suffer for lack of knowledge so in case anybody has this issue they can take it up and um, you know uh, unless you complain things will not change so that's the reality so i hope it's useful thanks for watching